All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. It's been about the fifth time I've run this thing because the last five times I was screwing up, but I looked down and my microphone was not turned on. So anyway, you guys are getting a well-rehearsed version of this whole thing. And to start off with, a big shout-out to the guys at Optics Planet. Uh, they're helping me put together a rifle build specifically to use in Memorial 3-Gun. We might be shooting out the 700 yards out there. So I figured... I always wanted to see what it'd be like to run a three gun with a 20 inch barrel. So we're going to use a proof research carbon fiber wrap barrel, 20 inch, one and seven twist. Uh, we're going to be using all JP components, trigger tech diamond, uh, primary arms, six sour optics. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of cool stuff. We're going to see how it works out, man. Anyway, uh, another big shout out to a young lady I met out in Shelby. Uh, I got to be real careful about how I do this because you know how YouTube is. Uh, Lead therapy by Guns N' Roses. Okay. Ta -da. That's all I can say. Anyway, this lady was absolutely incredible. Uh, my friend James, he and I went in there. Uh, if you're leaving Charlotte, heading towards Shelby, uh, she's going to be on your left. And if you're coming back, she's going to be on your right, of course. But we saw this uh, store, okay, that sells bang bangs. And man, let me tell you something. Walked in, and it was just like everybody knew your name. So that's like the gun store. So, oops, oops, did I say that out loud? This the store that everybody knows your name. So absolutely warming, welcoming, uh, archery range inside, and a huge inventory uh, that it just was really, really nice. Some really neat exotic stuff. Uh, so with that, uh, at the end of this video, you're going to see a huge montage. I'm going to do a video, uh, music video, so you can see exactly what's going on. But uh, go if you're in the area, go by and give her a visit, man. It'd be a lot of fun. She did give us a couple t-shirts, so thank you so much. All right, what are we talking about today? Get the business, John John. Uh, I just try to pick up articles. I, I couldn't exactly copy John Crump on his Illinois thing, and I absolutely think that's incredible. However, uh, I did three people got shot last night in the Illinois uh, Blue Line out there in, uh, uh, what do you call that, in Chicago. And I have a lot of experience on the Blue Line, trust me. Um, yeah, so this has to do with Maine. This is Marissa Bodner from CBS 13i Team. This came out tonight at 6.06, or actually this morning. Uh, the gun control has been on the spotlight in Maine ever since the state's daily shooting. Bruce asks the CBS 13i team has the state of maine banned bump stocks also which states have banned bump stocks at this point and this is interesting because we don't know who bruce is you like don't want to assume correct but sometimes you gotta wonder where this guy is politically right so uh this she goes on to answer the state of maine has not banned bump stocks but came close recently and, and this is really the kicker of the story which is really neat um Lawmakers nearly passed a bill last session that would have banned devices that allow semi-automatic rifles to be fired more rapidly like machine guns. It's interesting to me that they devices. What, what is a device? An accessory. Is that a device? Uh, there's things like they were talking about, and if you hear the little burbling back behind me, that's uh, six gallons of the most wonderful mash you've ever heard. In any case, m like machine guns, what, what exactly, right? So, however, Governor Janet Mills vetoed that bill. While she agreed with the intent, she called the language broad and ambiguous, saying it could have unintended consequences for responsible gun owners who hunt or shoot targets or shoot competitively. Uh, trigger Tech Diamond. Man, it's a great trigger. I can probably, I can, I, you know, the, the, I, I'll show you a video here in a second. Watch this. Let's do it again. Here we go. <laughs> well, or at least I hope that came out. But anyway, th that you could say a trigger tech diamond could be an accessory. You could say that you know uh, the force reset trigger is a, a component that helps it fire fast. And they're saying components, not the actual action of pulling the trigger and holding it down. But anything, whatever. They could say uh, multi fingers. They could say my, my finger right now is a contraption. Uh, 16 states across the U.S. and the District of Columbia have banned bump stocks, according to Every Town for Gun Safety. And John's just putting out a video about that thing is that everybody's trying to sue all the gun stores in Maryland and uh, D.C. just to basically put them out of business. They were fraudulent. They should be held accountable for that, ladies and gentlemen. A federal ban on bump stocks was overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court in June, making them legal in most states. I can be honest with you, 
And I think it's great. I saw a kid one day with one. Uh, he couldn't hit shit while he was using it. I probably couldn't hit shit when he was using it. But to me, it's 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 a novelty. It's it's a fun thing to have. It's a fun thing to have. Would I use it in a tactical or in a defensive situation? I, absolutely not. Um, but the ruling was not expected to have any impact on the 16 state bans currently in place. It also prevents doesn't prevent further action at the state or federal levels. And here's the kicker. Here's what the old Janet says right here. As for Maine, the governor wrote in her veto letter that any law restricting the use of bump stocks should be developed in a deliberate, inclusive manner with a clear and specific language. I got some clear and specific language. Okay, it's called the Second Amendment. It was as clear as it gets. It covers firearms of our era. Okay, they always say, "Well, they, uh, they, uh, the Second Amendment only covered, I don't know, flintlocks, <laughs> muskets." Um, well, as way I see it. The military had muskets at the time. Then civilians need muskets at the time. Military has, oh, I don't know, M4s. That's my opinion. We should be allowed to have M4s. So, yeah, clear and, speci clear and specific language. The Second Amendment is very clear and very specific. And it was a, the most incredibly written piece of, of work ever because it's timeless and that is the beauty of it. So, guys, uh, that's it, man. Let me know what your thoughts are down below what the you think clear and specific language should mean. Okay? Doesn't mean fingers. Doesn't mean anything uh, that would prevent us from exercising the Second Amendment. So, with that, guys, let me know what your thoughts are uh, down below. Don't forget to uh, say hi to the boys over at Optics Planet. If you're in the Shelby region, please don't hesitate and drop it in and saying hi. Check this video out, man. I think you guys are going to like this. KB32, always in like this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Because freedom, oh, sometimes comes with a little basil Haynes. Because after about four takes of this mess, without a microphone working, I had to do something about it. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Where's the off button? All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in Shelby, North Carolina, uh, and we were passing by my good friend James. Uh, we're sitting there passing by at 74, heading back to Charlotte because our sons are on the football team, and they uh, did really well today. Uh, but we passed this place. I saw this AR thing, thing on the wall, and I'm like, Arr! so we turn around, and I'm going to tell you something. Lead therapy, and this is Miss Kathy. And there's Mr. David over there. Hi, I'm going to tell you something. This is probably one of the best gun stores I have been to in a very long time. Kathy, how long have you have been in business now? I've been in the industry 17 years now. Had this store open for. Wow, that's cool. So, um, tell me a little bit about, well, I don't know. I don't have this from, I don't know what we're going to say. But I would like to do this. <laughs> David, Just how about show us around, around. show us around a little bit. Kathy, come on over here.
Hey, let, uh, yeah, give him a visit, and thank you so much Thanks for having for us. Thanks for stopping in. We appreciate man. the short video. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Thanks, so, y'all. Look forward to seeing you. Yep, and we always end them like this, guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support Red, White, Blue. God bless America. God bless this man, women, uniform, 24-7. Because free is not free.